Hey, how's it going everyone? Now in the past, I've done a lot of coverage on amazing Apple Watch apps for our Apple Watch. But for this video, I went ahead and asked the people, the community in Reddit, the subreddit of the Apple Watch and asked them for their recommendation of some applications that they feel everybody should at least know about. So I gathered all that information and the list was almost endless, but I took the ones that were being recommended the most and included this in this top 10 videos of must have apps for our Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and get started for this Reddit edition video. For our number one, this first one is called Bring Shopping List. And what this does is basically gives you a better way to remind yourself on what kind of stuff you need whenever you're grocery shopping, for example. When you first launch the app, you're gonna get a few categories depending on what kind of categories you created. But in our case, if we click on home, this is gonna be like home supplies, mainly groceries. So it gives us image icons on stuff that we need and whenever you complete them at the grocery stores you simply just tap on the icon and it turns green now this is actually the first time i've been using this app and i gotta say i i really enjoy it because it's really easy to navigate and you also get images and then if we move and go to our phone side of things if you launch the app over here you have full control of your list you can create a new list or edit a current list so if we go on our home and let's say you need butter, you just easily just type in butter, select it, and now it's on your list. And then just launch the app back on your watch and you'll see it right here. So everything else is pretty much self-explanatory and I definitely do see myself going to start to be using this app a lot more. Now this next one is called Auto Sleep. And just like the name applies, it does exactly that. It monitors your sleeping habits automatically without having you to do anything. This was the most requested app that was mentioned a bunch of times on Reddit and a couple of times on previous videos of mine. Now, unlike other competitors that I've seen, some of them have like a subscription plan. This one doesn't do that. This one has a one-time fee, so I guess it's kind of good. But once you purchase the app and open it up for the first time, you're able to configure it and however you like. So for a more accurate result, the app does recommend you to sleep with the Apple Watch if you can, if not, as soon as you take off your Apple Watch, it's going to begin doing the sleeping tracking. This application, from what I've seen, is one of those applications you just let it do its thing. You don't have to worry about anything. As soon as you give the application the permissions it needs for your health monitoring, you're pretty much set and done. So if you're looking for a great sleeping tracker, definitely do check out this application as it was recommended to me a bunch of times. And from what I've seen, it's respectfully good. And the watch itself does allow you to manually start tracking if you need to, if you launch the app off your wrist. So that was the second most recommended app on Reddit. Now for our third one is Carrot. This is another highly recommended app, not only from Reddit, but also on my previous video that I did. Carrot is basically a weather app, but what I especially love about this application, it's a one-time purchase, but once you buy it, it's pretty, it's really hilarious. The full app itself is really cool too when you open it up on your iOS device. This application gives you funny little achievements to make the whole thing entirely entertaining. But the app itself also supports VR mode and time travel. But you can also scroll if you want to see the forecast for the next few hours. It also sends you push notifications for weather alerts on your phone or your watch. And this application already went ahead and replaced one of my main complications that I had in the past. This complication, what I especially like about it is not only does it show you the weather conditions, and if you went ahead and to replace your top complication on the infograph, it gives you a funny little caption on top. So I find this application humorous, informative. So for that, yeah, I could definitely recommend it. So thank you Reddit for uh, showing me this app. Now these next two are more like a combo, but MiniWiki as well as Nano are really great applications for reading through articles or newsfeed. With MiniWiki, you can basically search for articles by either using dictation or spelling it out with the display. But not only that, you can also check out nearby stuff, bookmarks, downloads. You can actually download articles directly from Wiki to your Apple Watch. And you can also go through most read. So I feel this is a great application for somebody who's constantly on Wikipedia, want to have some information on their wrists. This is a great way to do so. And Nano is basically it's just Reddit on your Apple Watch. So if you've been looking for a good dedicated 
Apple Watch app for Reddit. Definitely do check out Nano. And for Wikipedia, Mini Wiki. This next one is the Nike Run Club app. Now, unless you have the Apple Watch Nike Plus Edition, you already have this one installed. But for everybody else, you could install this separately on the App Store. Now, this is basically the ultimate running companion app. It's no surprise because it was, I'm assuming, it was co-developed with Apple. So it's optimized to work with the Apple Watch at its fullest. It utilizes the GPS connectivity. And whenever you start to run, it gives you this cool animation and keeps track of the distance you travel and will also show you the map layout of the distance you travel when you end your running session. So if you're a marathon runner or preparing yourself for an upcoming marathon, the Nike app is really cool to use and it's free. So what is there to hate? Now this next one is primarily a complication, which once again, already went ahead and replaced one of my previous complications that I had. What I like about this application, it's called Watch the Time. What I like about this application is that in the past, on one of my complications, I used to have the date and the time on two separate complications. With this application, it allows you to combine the two into one, saving you more space for other important complications you wish to have. So now you have all the information right here on one side of the watch. So we have our date as well as the time. And if you open up the application on your iOS device, you have full customization to change the colors as well as the way the orders are placed. So it's free to download, really cool. Another great app that I'm actually using now. Thank you, Reddit. Now, this next one, Sport Alerts. Doesn't matter if you don't like sports, if you love sports, if you're like me, you just wanna be informed of what's going on to help inform your friends. The great thing about this application, unlike ESPN, where it's limited to only their sports, with Sport Alerts, you have a variety of different sports to choose from. You got NFL, NBA, NHL, CFL, and a bunch of other ones worldwide. And when you tap on that score, not only can you view the scores live, but you can also go back to the previous game. And on your iOS device, it also allows you to have your own personal preferences. So this way you get notifications each and every time something happens. And we'll also show you the schedule for that game. And back on the iOS device, there's a lot of information you can also get from this, from news and all that stuff. So definitely check out this application, especially if you're really into sports. iStudy Pro is another one. This one's really great, especially for college students. I'm sure we've all been there and we could definitely relate. Whenever you start your new semester, it can get really challenging to remember your class schedule. Well, with this application, it allows you to organize all your courses all in the calendar. So this way, whenever you forget what time is your next class, you can actually launch the application all off your wrist. And this way you can see what, what time or what course you have to take next. And since this is a fully dedicated app just for this, it's much easier organizing your schedule this way than by typing up everything on your notes. You can also put priorities. So if there's projects or some final essay drafts you have to get done, you can also include them here, allowing you to be more organized. Now this next one is called Countdown. It's free to download and all it basically does, is just keeps a countdown to whatever day. So in our case, let's say we have a dentist appointment. Actually, that's a horrible example. Let's say we're excited for Endgame, which gets released on April 26th. So once you launch the iOS app, let's just type in Endgame and then it's going to be on April 26th categories put it under movies it's gonna be our top priority so we're gonna to top it out and repeat no repeat and now when we launch the countdown on our Apple watch we see we have 33 days left until that movie officially becomes available for us to watch in theaters and that's basically everything that there is to know about countdown and then this last one is called parody and parody is basically an independent web browser for our Apple watch I had high hopes for this one, unfortunately, but at, there's times where it doesn't really work. Like for example, it has, it's really slow. It has a hard time connecting your phone, which does require your phone to launch the app and then you can lock it in order for the Apple Watch to get internet connectivity. It doesn't rely on its own independent connection. So it can't do Wi-Fi. It has to be connected to your phone, which sucks. But uh, I gave this application a shot. It was cool. The concept, everything sounded cool. A dedicated web browser for our Apple Watch. The only downside is it's pretty slow. 
So I recommend checking out this video. You click the little i card above or click on the link for the video description down below. But in that video, I show you a walk around how to get Safari 2 pop up on demand. So if you've been wanting to know how to do this, I would definitely recommend checking out that video. Other than that, besides that last one, all these applications were really great and some of them actually made it officially onto my watch that I expect to be using daily. So if you guys like to also get these apps, I'll be sure to include the links in the video description down below. This way you guys don't have to manually type up this stuff in the app store. You can just click on it and it'll take you directly to it. And also I'll be sure to also leave the credit to the sources of this subreddit in the video description down below to credit the authors and the members that helped me out. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys found this video informative, useful, you know what to do. I'll greatly appreciate it if you could leave this video a big thumbs up. Even better will be incredible. You could also get subscribed. But as always, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.